वेलकम टू यू यूवर्स युग एस ए पी एस डी यूट्यूब चानल प्लीज़ सब्सक्रैब चानल फर् मोर वीडियो अंड टू गेट दि रियल टाइम सपोर्ट फॉर फ्यू डेस् टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबउट सर्वी आर्डर वैल्यू सर्वी आर्डर अंड टेक्स्ट आर्डर ओके वेन एवर वी आर् डूइंग एनी सर्वी ओके वी आर् क्रियेटिंग सर्वी सर्वी सेल आर्डर वी आर् क्रियेटिंग आर्डर अंड वी आर् क्रियेटिंग द बिल्ली ओके इयर दर्ज नो डेलीवरी बिकाज वी आर् नाट मूविंग एनी फिजिकल इनवेंट्री ओके वी आर् नाट मूविंग एनी स्टाक वैल्यू सेल आर्डर फॉर एक्सापल इट्स लाइक वोचर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सेल एनी वोचर वी कैन वी कैन यूज वैल्यू सेल वैल्यू सर्वी आर्डर ओके टेक्स्ट आर्डर्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू पास एनी टेक्स्ट इनफर्मेशन वी विल क्रिएट द टेक्स्ट आर्डर्स हाउ वील डू दट इन एस एफ वील सी नाउ ओके इयर वी हेव टू वेज ओके वन वी कैन क्रिएट द बिल्ली वित् रेफरेन्स आफ सेल आर्डर ओके अंड वित् रेफरेन्स आफ डेलीवरी आलो वी कैन क्रियेट बट दर् इज नो इनवेंट्री इयर ओके हाउ वील डू दट वी विल सी इन एस एफ फर्स्ट आफ आल वी हेव टू क्रियेट वन सेल सेल डाक्युमेंट टाइप ओके सो ई कापी फ्रम ओवर ई क्रियेटेड द न्यू वन दिस इज जस्ट नव ऐ क्रियेटेड ओके कापी फ्रम ओवर ओके कापी फ्रम ओवर ई क्रियेटेड सेल डाक्युमेंट टाइप नेक्स्ट वाट ई विलू ई गो टू वि सेवन ई कापी फ्रम टी ए एन ई विल क्रियेट वन ईटम कैटगरी ओके ई कापी फ्रम TA and TAN, I will create. Sorry, sir. Our standard uh, item is TAD for service. TAD. I will copy the TAD. I created my own. Next, what I will do? I am going to Vivo V Vivo V four. Here I am assigning item category to sales document type. Okay, what is your sales uh, sales document type here? Vivo. Yes, see, item category group D I N. For service item category group is D E I N. Okay, here I am assigning Y E S one whatever I created. Now I am saving. Okay, now we will create on schedule line. Uh, standard I am copying from C D. I am copying from C D with no delivery. I am copying from that. I am creating my own S C. But okay, now I am saving. Click on this. I am now I am saving. Okay. Next, what we'll do? We'll do it. Uh, Schedule and determination. Okay. Schedule and category determination. That is not the bad. We are linking Schedule and to Schedule and category to item category. For the take or Vivo V5. Go to Vivo V5 item category as Y1 as C. Okay. I'll copy this. So in metal master level, MRP type ND is the first value. That is, I am sell with the ND combination. I am going to maintain should land category. Okay. Now we'll see one material. So I created one material. This is my service material. So this material I, I created using the MRP type DIN. Okay, DIN. Sorry, DIN service. So. इंडस्ट्री एस फुड इंडस्ट्री एस सेलेक्टेड एम आर पी टाइप डिईन एस सेलेक्टेड ओके ई क्रियेटेड वन मेटीरियल सर्विस मेटीरियल ईटम कैटी ग्रूप एस डिईन फॉर् सर्वीस विथ डेलवरी ओके एम आर पी टाइप यू कैन सी दम आर पी टाइप एंड डी ओके सो एंड डी कांबिनेशन वी मेन्टेन शुड लैंड कैटगरी Now I we now will create now what we'll do we'll create on sale order. Can okay, I'm creating on sale order? This is my customer. This is my material. Order quantity one. See item category one is here right. What are we create? What are we created to game here? Under your schedule and category SC. Okay, schedule and category SC. Now, what we'll do? We'll save and we'll create an invoice. Now I'm creating an invoice document. Again, it's that sales order. See, now the document type came F two because of we are not created any billing type here. 
okay now what we'll do we'll create one billion type voFA the standard f2 I'll create the I'll copy from the standard I'll create my own y1 as e okay now I'm saving this billing type I'm going to assign it voVA in cell order level okay I'm going to assign it cell order level vivo v8 y1 as e here i'm going to see if it is order related you can assign here if it is delivery related you can assign here so i am assigning in both places i am now i am saving how system knows this is uh, order related building or delivery building in item category level we have the control y1 as c is the item category here b if you maintain b is order related building if you maintain a delivery related building we are doing service order related okay now we'll create one more sale order okay say uh, with uh, y1 sc order type y1 sc order type the sales area customer this material order quantity to so C item category Y1 as SE whatever we created scheme. Shed line also as SE whatever we created scheme. Okay. Uh, price I'm going to maintain 10,000. Now I'm going to save this. Now I'm creating one billion uh, one invoice for the sale order. C Y1 as SE whatever we created scheme right now I'm saving. Okay. Now if you want to create with delivery, simple. What we'll do? Go to Vivo V6 first. Our main control here is Vivo V7. Our main control is how system knows for service order we have to create delivery. Okay, how system knows means in item category we have the control item relevant for delivery. This is only for value one service. This is only for value one text. Value one text we are going to use A. Yeah. Okay, if it is a standard, if you're trying to keep, you can see here system will not accept because of item is relevant for delivery only for value or text okay now i am saving this this is the main control set line allowed this is the main control now now what we will do we will create one sale order again okay we will create one sale order again here what we can do you can see here same i am not doing any changes see sc only price only now what we will do before creating invoice i will create delivery okay now I'm going to create the delivery VL zero one n. Okay, uh, will zero VLP. We copied from TD right, so TD document type is not available in delivery item category. So what we'll do? We'll copy the tan. We'll create an item category here. Uh, Y one SC item not relevant for picking okay now i'm saving we'll create one delivery now vl 01 and again it's the same sales order it's not even because of in vivo v6 okay in vivo v6 in shedland category level item we have to check item is relevant for delivery then only system allows you but movement up i'm not making because of it is not relevant for in inventory okay now we will create one delivery now okay again with the same sales order i'm going to create the delivery what is that i'm going to be zero two So we have to create a new seller because of its ex existing seller order, right? So I'm creating new seller order. After create a seller order, we done the changes. So we have to create new seller order. Okay. Now I am maintaining the price again. See the set line is same. What we done in the set line, we tick that item is relevant for delivery. Okay. In set line category, if you check that, that is the relevant for delivery. Okay. Now I am creating the delivery see here 
if you want the store location is automatic then what we will do go to the VA02 maintain shipping point and shipping point and store location manual because of what is how shipping point will determine in previous session I covered the shipping point will determine combination of shipping condition and loading group okay but in our case we don't have loading group field in we don't have loading group field in material mass level because of for service for service there is no there is no uh, field of loading group in material mass we will see now that you can see here go to mm02 if you create any service material usually we will, we will not create this uh, we will not create delivery for service just in case if you getting uh, if client is asking you want to do that time maybe it will help to you see we are don't we don't have any loading and transporting group field you can see here that's reason shipping will not determine automatically whenever you create a material with the uh, item uh, with the help of item uh, mrp type as dien okay if you create it with the fert it will allows you okay not what we'll do okay we'll create the delivery again with reference of same order see now i'm doing pga now i'm going to create the invoice vf01 save okay if you see the uh, document flow document flow of the order see here order order delivery there is no pga just delivery and invoice okay this is a service order what about value okay almost the config is the same for value and service okay we will see now first we will create an item category uh, the standard is uh, taw okay i will copy the taw i will create the new item category y1 value y e okay y1 v e now i am saving so on, on standard item category from standard i, I create a new item category y1 v e okay okay now what we'll do same other type i'm going to use i'm i'm not using any new one same okay i'm going to vivo this vivo v4 item card determination okay what is our service order here uh, just now what we created y1 sc right item category group di en right so here i am removing it i am assigning y1 y1 v so i am using same order type i am not creating new one okay now i am saving if client requirement if both has to has to be what means what we will do that y1 is here so we, this is the manual this item can determination that concept in the previous section i explained this okay if you are saying some more item category is here while creating the sale adders default system will took this item category if you want this manually we have to change okay you can see you can refer the previous session you can understood the item can determine concept okay now what we will do we have to do the item uh, should link and determination we were v5 Your standard is TAW, right? What is our item category here? Y1 VE. Or Y1 VE combination of okay, combination of ND. I am going to assign so I am going to assign the item category. So in metal master level, ND is there. I am assigning ND. Okay, what is the schedule and category for uh, service? Same, I am going to use here SC. Now I am saving. 
okay now what we'll do i will create one sale order for service same customer same metal i'm going to use okay if you see here we system is not allowing us to enter the quantity right that means in vivo v8 vivo v7 sorry vivo v7 what is the item category y1 ve right okay here the schedule is allowed this we have to check okay now you can save we will create uh, sale order again va01 see the system allows the item category y1 ve default system will give y1 if you want to change y1 as it will it will it will allow you because of we are saying both we are saying okay both we are saying vivo v4 okay the first one system will give first priority i mean default the second one manual if you want we we have to we have to self manually the first one system will give first priority or, or default it will give the second one manual we have to change that you can see the definition also default item category manual item category okay so one document type we can use like uh, four item categories as of now we are you can see if we uh, three manual one default four item guys we can use now we'll creating or what yeah already we're creating so this is the default system will give y1 ve now what we'll do okay we will see the we'll maintain price of that Also, see if you want to create your different if you want to create different other type different schedule, you can create no problem okay as of now i am using i am using service and i am using if you want different for value you can you can create different other type different item category different shit line and assignments okay and different billing type now order is saving now i am creating the invoice for this value contracts value material sale order See one second. VL zero one. See first we have to do the delivery. We'll do the delivery. Shipping point store location in the seller level we have to enter manually. If you are not automated means we have to create the material. We have to create the material with FEIT MRP type. So now I am creating the delivery. So we'll now we'll create with, with delivery. After we'll create without without delivery. Now I am doing PJ. Now I am creating invoice for value. Now I am saving. Okay. We, now you, if you want to create without delivery, what we will do? Go to Vivo V6. What the item category? SC, right? SC. Uncheck this. Unsave. Okay. Now we can create one sale order again with the value contract value value sales order value meter sales order. This is my value meter sales order. So to quantify, you can see the how system knows value or uh, service or text my item category. So if you using the same order type for uh, normal service value and tax, how system knows difference with item category. Okay. If you want to use different document of for each the process you can create separate document types or else you can use one we, what we are changing we are changing item categories okay how we created the config for service same like that you can do for value now i am saving now i am creating invoice vf01 slash and va02 what is the sales order this one right sorry it will not allow you because of in vivo v7 in vivo v7 um, this is uh, delivered so we have to maintain order related here okay we have to maintain order related b means order related a means delivery related building so uh, previously i shown you with reference of delivery if you want to create without delivery you want to create the building with reference of invoice then we have to maintain this same 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 previous how we config for service how we done service service same process okay you can do for value 
without with or without without delivery with delivery whatever is that now i am creating one more cell adder okay now price i am going to maintain i am saving now i am creating invoice for this vl0 vf01 what is this missing item category is missing so item category determination not happen vt fa go to vt fa copy control between order to invoice previously how it is allowed for our service we copied through a, a tad right we copied uh, from tad we created new so back end already copy control is there between order to invoice with tad that's the reason automatically it copied the copy control also copied but now we copied from taw taw is the delivery related so delivery related there is no copy control between order to invoice because of that is delivery related delivery to invoice is there but client requirement client is uh, client don't want delivery you want direct order and invoice okay in that case what we have to do we have to maintain we have to create the new item category and uh, the copy control we have to maintain if it is throwing error the copy control also i'm going to cover in previous uh, next session you can refer that video okay you can see here what is the billing document type y1 sc sales order type y1 sc if you click on item here our uh, item category for service is y1 sc right we'll copy from y1 sc we'll create we'll create y1 ve for value so i am give i am telling the both options whether uh, if it's a required for you you can use or else you can go with the standard if you are uh, based on the client requirement you can do that if you want with delivery or without delivery okay now we'll create invoice vf01 and okay now i'm saving you can see the invoice uh, item category also vy1 ve okay text text is nothing but a material also not required for text okay just what we will do we have to do the item category determination first we will create an item category view v7 the standard is tax i'll copy this i'll create my own y1 te y1 tx now i am saving this is also same text also same we can create with delivery or without delivery both where the control billing is there so if you maintain a system allow to create the with delivery if you maintain b system allow to create the with sale sale side okay okay now what we'll do this item the text item get it we are going to assign vivo vivo so i'm i'm using the same sales document type okay y1 sc d i n here i'm assigning y1 tx so this v1 vs here as a here i'm going to assign because of if i want to okay if i want to use manual i can select vivo v one scenario we will create three we will see how it will work we will see okay now i am going to create the one sales order here material i am manually i am entering the description t e x t t a t x standard item category so we have to copy from t a t x sorry because of at we are not under any item category if you enter the any material then why tax will come okay text without text without material with material you can do both ways how you want so everything is flexible okay based on the client requirement we are going to change that shit if client don't have any material just a text in from you have to pass okay you have to pass just enter the text if you can see it, both i will do here text 
the standard is TATX item category. So I'm not in any material here. Okay, now I'm saving the sales order. Now I'm creating delivery VL01 and see both metals came right. I'm not under anything, right? So now I'm doing PJ. Now I'm creating invoice VF01. See with material without material, both came right. With material without material, both came. Okay. VH02. So we will create the three metals at a time. How we can manage, we will see. You want different order types, you can create different order types, you can try from your end. Okay. Now, what I will do here, I will enter one material. For example, this is service. I am entering another material. This is for value. Okay. I am I am entering the one more the text. Okay. Text with the description or without this, without material. Both I am going to enter. See now. Manually, I'm changing here. One is for service. One is for uh, value. One is for text. With material, with material. Okay. We'll see price now. Event price. Okay. The next material for value. The next material text. Text. There is no information. Okay, if text also something price is there, we have to go with material. If there is no price for text, that is just information without material. Okay, simple. Now we'll see. If you try to create the delivery for both, we'll see. Now I'm saving. Now I'm creating one delivery VL01N. Okay, now I'm creating See only two metals came, text only came. Why remaining two not came? Because of what the item category in that okay, what the item category have billing relevance, what the billing relevance in vivo V7 we will see in uh, Y1SE. What the billing relevance here? Order. Right? Now next one is Y1 V order. So with A means delivery before it order is that's it is not allowed. Okay. What the Sherlin category V1 V6? Let's see. That is relevant for delivery. Now we'll create CX. Now we'll create delivery again VL01 uh, go to VA0 VL 01 n sorry VA02 double click on this go to shipping tab maintain shipping point and uh, store location the second one uh, sorry we created uh, we after uh, um, I mean we have to create new seller because of after created sale order, we done the changes. So we have to create the new sale order. Okay. So this is a text description. So we can change manually here if we want. If we want default. We have to maintain sale order level. I mean middle master level. Okay. The first one is the service Y1SC. So how, is, how I can able to change the item category is item order determination. Item order determination level default system is to TATX because of this we assign and after that manually we assign these two. Okay, after the manually we assign these two without text information it will come this. Okay, how it is coming TATX that is also we will see now why we have confused. Go to Vivo V4. What is the other type? Y uh, Y one, okay. Y one SC right. Y one SC. What is the TATX? That's it. Item category not required because because we are not doing any material. Item which is TATX. It is the default. Okay. Now I am entering the price for each material. If you are if you want to calculate any price, we have to go the text metal with material with, with material code. If you don't want any price, don't need to capture, then go with the 
without material with description we can go you can see here we don't have any option to enter the price because there is no material here there is no quantity first of all there is no quantity itself okay we have that control quantity ta tx share delay okay we we'll create the cell address on va01 so if you getting any confuse here simple first you will create the three order types one for service one for value one for text okay yeah, first test from your end individually okay later uh, create three materials copy from the same you can create three materials on the service on its value on its text create three other types how we done the configure service same you can do for text and value do individual testing after that you can do combined testing sc for service ve for value so i'm going to the main time price now Now what we'll do? We'll create, we'll save, and we'll create one delivery. VL zero one n. See four metal scheme, right? I am doing PGA. Store location required for line item ten. Line item store location required because of why storage location required? In zero VLP. In zero VLP, we have control the T code for item uh, delivery item get determination. Y one S C here we we maintain store is required. If you uncheck that, not required. Okay, you can see the remaining one Y one V E. There is no store location. Next is Y one T X. So that's reason system is not asking remaining. If you don't want store location also, just come and remove it. That's it. Okay, save. Now we can create the delivery V L zero one N. Now shipping now in that in that case shipping bond not required and delivery document also not required. Now I am doing PGA. Okay, now I am creating invoice VF zero one. Okay, now I am say log. I think uh, item category cannot be invoice LF. Why one is it cannot be invoice with? building down so copy control is missing between between lf to y1 se okay uh, what we'll do vt fl vt fl vt fl So we have to make a copy control between LF to Y1 SC, then line item 10 it allows you. Okay. Again, I'm giving clarity, there is no confusion here. First of all, we have three types of order types are service order, value, text. Okay, for service order, create an order type, billing type, item category, and short line guide do assignment of this all order to, order to in, uh, item get item to reset lane and uh, in billing type you can assign in order level okay create an order uh, service material do order delivery invoice with order reference okay next create one more item category okay create one more item category for create one more item category for what uh, value create one order type for value short line category for value that's uh, okay and uh, billing type for value create one order delivery invoice you can maintain billing rules b you can do without delivery you can do next you can do same for text okay same uh, next you can do same for text okay 
वन ऑन आइटम कैटेगरी ओके क्रिएट ऑन आइटम कैटेगरी आर्डर टाइप ओके वन बिल्डिंग टाइप वन शेड लाइन कैटेगरी डू द असाइनमेंट एंड डू द आर्डर डेलीवरी इन वाइस आफ्टर दैट यू आर क्लाइंट क्लाइंट वन विथ रिफरेंस ऑफ डेलीवरी देन वाट वील डू गो एन इन शेड लाइन कैटेगरी मेन्टेन ऐटम फॉर डेलीवरी फॉर डेलीवरी एंड ऐटम कैट लेवल मेन्टेन ऐटम रेलवेंट फॉर बिल्डिंग रेलवेंट एज ए बिल्डिंग रेलवेंट एज ए मेन्टेन दिस टू अंड क्रिएट इन जीरो विएलपि डेलीवरी ऐटम कैट लेवल क्रिएट द Service you don't create because of billing is B. So we have to copy from T and you can create your own. In that uh, picking an order request, storage is not required. You can all are unchecked. You can save. Now you can create one order, service order, delivery invoice, value order, delivery invoice, text order, delivery invoice, text to two base one is with, with material and second one is without material. Okay. You but a client wants in one order three materials. In that case, what we will do? In that case, what we will do? Okay, see a formal scheme. In that case, what we will do? One order type, four item category assignment. One order type, four item category assignment. Okay, this is the concept of service order, value, and text. The next class I am going to cover billing plan types. Nothing but periodic billing and milestone billing. Please watch the more videos. Okay, please subscribe to channel. for more videos and to get the real time support of you guys thank you all for your time next class i am going to cover periodic billing and milestone billing